Shit that females are going to hate me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Part one. The same way that men go through their kind of hoe phase, like their cheating phase, where they just don't know how to be faithful. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. That Like, that little phase that they go through normally when they're young, but some, but some of y'all old motherfuckers go through it too. I don't know. We have that phase too. But ours is so much worse. Oh, we know. Because we're going through our phase secretly. Yeah. You can go through a whole relationship with a woman thinking that she never, ever cheated on you. And the whole time she was. Because when we do it, we put more effort into hiding it. You'll never find out unless we want you to. If you find out that a woman's cheating, she wanted you to know. That's why I can't stand behind the whole men ain't shit thing. Because men and women go through that ain't shit phase. Shit that females are going to hate me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Part two. So the reason why we friend zone you is because we are nine times out of ten not physically attracted to you. There it is. Yard. But we know that we can get pretty much whatever we want out of you. And because you are in that phase with us where you're trying to impress us because you actually like us, you'll do pretty much whatever to try to impress us. And Sims. we take full advantage. We know we can call you for anything and you will say yes because you're hoping that the friendship leads to something more. <laughs> I promise you though, it's, it's not. If she wanted to be in a relationship with you, if she actually liked you, that would have been done. All the shit that you do for her, that would have been done if she really wanted to be with you. Yeah. And I am well aware that what I'm saying does not apply to all women. I do do girl trips. I, I love my girlfriends. And um, I think you do everything on the trip. And whatever you do, you're supposed to keep it on the trip. Right? Right. You don't come back. So that's the don't. The don't is whatever y'all do. Whatever you do. And I do. Saying does not apply to all women. But if the shoe fits, wear that bitch. I do do girl trips. I, I love my girlfriends. And um, I think you do everything on the trip. And whatever you do, everything. you're supposed to keep it on the trip. Right? Right. You don't come back. So that's the to... don't. The don't is whatever y'all do, don't, don't bring it back. Don't I mean, don't it. tell. Right. You know, if you got a girlfriend that's going and she's married and she's flirting with other guys, let her do her thing. It's not your business. Ooh. Don't you go running and telling everybody, oh, my God, girl, she was talking to everybody and she knows she's married. Ooh. No, the girl's trip, she's supposed to have an amazing, fun yeah. time. And what happens on the trip stays on the trip. Don't worry about my bonnet. I'm about to go to bed. That's why I got my bonnet on. My business. That. But ladies, y'all gonna quit playing with me. <laughs> when I said, when you get into a relationship, that girl's trip and girl's night out shit, you gotta dead that. Y'all know exactly why. Don't talk to Y'all be trying to play this little sweet, innocent role. Like, don't nothing happen. Oh, we just hanging out with our girls. Y'all know damn well we be on straight bullshit on them damn girls trips. But y'all try to keep it hush hush from the men so that they don't know. So they think that don't nothing happen. But bitch, I'm telling because we need to do better. So my statement stands. When your single friends is going girls night out, girls trip, all that shit. Keep your ass at the house yeah. if you are in a relationship. Brunch and mimosas, shopping, mani petties, shit like that. That is your time to shine with your single friends. All that other shit, girl, just just stay home. Just stay home. It ain't worth it. Y'all go ahead and keep saying I'm capping and I'm a pick me and all that shit. Go ahead. But you know everything I'm saying is actual factual. So keep playing with me if you want to. Shit that females are going to hate me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Part three, y'all. I got my nails done, so I'm feeling myself. So, you know, part three. So, you know that saying, nice guys always finish last. I'm gonna be honest, there's some truth to that. <laughs> I want you to really think about this. Have you ever had a girl sit there and tell you how good of a guy you are? You're just so perfect. Any girl would be lucky to have you. Like, have you ever had a girl give you that little speech? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Have you ever sat back and wondered, like, okay, if I'm so perfect, then why don't you be with me? Right. I'm such a nice guy and girls would be so lucky to have me. So why don't you be lucky? Right. Like, <laughs> Be lucky and you have me. Yeah. One thing that it could be, not all the time, but it could be this. You're too nice. And I know that is such a fucked up thing to thought. say because you're like, how the fuck can you be too nice? Like, how is that a thing? But females, we have this thing and it's not right. I'll, I'll be the first to say it's not right. It's so fucked up. But we have this thing where if you are too nice, 
if you have no masculine energy to you at all, if you're just too nice, it's cringy. No, you're going to get stuck. It's on. one of the biggest turnoffs for women. Like, I don't give a fuck what she told you. I don't care what she says. I don't care. There's going to be females in these comments saying that's not true. Bitch, yes, the fuck it is. And you have done it. Don't lie and say you haven't. Why do you think girls always go after that guy who's kind of an asshole? Why do you think that's a thing? Why do you think that is? It's because he's more masculine than the nice guy. <laughs> Even though we know the nice guy is better for us. We know he is. We crave that masculine energy. We crave it. It's like how you know you're supposed to eat healthy. Like, you know that you should have a salad. Yeah. But that double bacon cheeseburger just be hitting so different. It's the same type of concept when it comes to nice guys and the assholes. And yes, I know men are not food. Don't be coming for me in the comments. I'm not saying that men are food. I'm just giving you an example so that... You can understand it a little bit better. Don't take it to heart. Don't be getting all in your feelings in the comments. comments. Chill out. I also know that what I'm saying does not apply to everybody.